welcome to my channel Thomas Sheep and today I would like to show you how to make this beautiful beanie with great pattern. I really love this pattern. It's not hard to make it at all so beginners of crochet can do it. And I will show you step by step how to crochet this beanie and uh, I will tell you and show you how you can make smaller or bigger size of this beanie. If you like my pattern, if you like this beanie, I will be very happy for thumb up. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, subscribe and hit the bell as well because you will never miss any of my video. And thank you very much for watching and we can start to crochet. For this project, I'm going to use a pair of scissors, stitch marker, yarn needle, 5.5 millimeters crochet hook and this my favorite uh, yarn called Peru from Naco brand. It's a uh, 50% of premium acrylic, 25% of uh, wool and 25% of alpaca wool. Uh, you can use any, any other yarn, it's up to you. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to make a slip knot. How I said I'm using 5.5 millimeters crochet hook. And I'm going to make a, an adult size of beanie. So you will need two balls of this yarn. You can make the hem of beanie how high you want. So I'm going to make a chain nine. If you will make more chains, it will be higher. The hem of beanie will be higher. So it depends up to you how high, uh, how high uh, you want uh, have the hem of beanie. So I have chain eight. This is chain nine. And now we are going to start with the second chain and one single crochet. So make one single crochet in the second chain and then make one single crochet in each chain across. And if I made uh, chain nine, now I have to make eight single crochets in total. So in the first row, I will have eight single crochets. So continue working one single crochet in each chain across. I am at the end of the first row. Now, always at the end of each row, chain one and turn your work. And always, uh, always turn your work in the same direction. It's better. Okay, from this second row, we are going to use just the back loop. So when you turn it like, like this, you can see chain, you can see stitches, but we are going to use just the back loop and always start in very first back loop. So make first single crochet in very first back loop. So this is the first back loop. This is second back loop. So make one single crochet in very first back loop and make one single crochet in each this back loop across but always the very last single crochet goes to the stitch. So now you have to make one single crochet in the next seven back loops. So continue working like this. You can pause the video and meet me back again at the end of the second row. I'm at the end of the second row and how I said, the very last single crochet goes to the stitch. So not this loop, but both loops and make last single crochet into the stitch because we want to have straight edge or straight edges. 
chain one, turn and repeat it, repeat it again. So start always in very first back loop, make first single crochet in very first back loop and then continue working like in previous row. And make the hem as long as the head circumference, but this is not 100% natural material, so you can make two less centimeters. I'm going to make 57 rows and you should make a multiple of three. So if you will make 58 rows, make, um, make a one less row. If you will get, um, uh, I don't know, uh, if you will get uh, 53 rows, you should make one more row because it should be multiple of three. So continue working and meet me back again. Okay, this is how it looks like. It's stretchy. And now we have to join both sides of the hem of beanie together. So put it to each other. And we are going to use crochet hook and slip stitches. You can uh, use a yarn needle and you can sew it together. It's up to you. But I'm going to insert my hook into this stitch. Grab the yarn and pull it through and make first slip stitch. Okay, and now we will use on this side or just uh, stitches and uh, on the other side you will use just back loop like, bef like before so uh, you will you will continue in the same pattern so use just the back loop then insert your hook into the stitch on the other side grab the yarn and make a slip stitch so make one slip stitch in each this back loop and this stitch <laughs> across. Okay, now I have to make a last slip stitch and then we can start to crochet the beautiful pattern. So, this is the wrong side of beanie. You can turn it if you want now or you can turn it after. And this is starting tail, so I know this is a the beginning of the round and if you want if you need it uh, use stitch marker and we will start with chain one this chain you will count always as single crochet I will explain you why later now I'm going to use stitch marker just because of you, but I will not use them. Uh, it's not comfortable for me. And I know I know where, where I should make a slip stitch. So it's just because of you. So mark the chain. And now the most important uh, part is this part, because you need to know where you will insert your hook. This is row and this is space between rows. So you should know uh, the row is one row and the space between rows is uh, another row. So now we are going to make two double crochets in the same stitch and start in this first row. So uh, it's the, it's the, stitch or space um, where you made a chain one so in this stitch make now two double crochets so this is first double crochet yarn over 
Insert your hook into the same space. Grab the yarn, pull it through. You have three loops on your hook. Grab the yarn, pull it through two. Grab the yarn and pull it through two. Now we have chain one and two double crochets. So now you have to skip two. So skip this stitch and this stitch. It's a space between rows and rows and make another series in this stitch. So start with single crochet and then two double crochets in the same stitch. So it it will always alternate. Uh, you make one series of single crochet and two double crochets on the row and then on the trough. So now skip the row and the trough and make one uh, single crochet in the stitch on the row. Then make in the same stitch two double crochets. Skip two stitches and make another this series of single crochet and two double crochets. So skip the stitch on the trough and the stitch on the row. So now you have to start um, start to make the series on the trough. So continue working like this uh, all the way around. Okay, I am at the end of the round and now I'm going to make uh, the very last, uh, very last uh, series of single crochet and two double crochets. So one single crochet and to the same stage two double crochets. This is one double crochet and this is second double crochet in the same stitch. Now you have to join the round with a slip stitch and you will not uh, insert your hook into the chain. You have to insert your hook into the stitch. So it's stitch of the first uh, of the first double crochet. So this is the right stitch where you have to make a slip stitch and join the round. Always at the end of the round, you uh, you have to make chain one and turn your work. So this is how it looks like. This is the first row of the pattern. So chain one, you can use stitch marker again if you want, if you need it. Uh, I will mark the chain because of use again. So now turn your work and we will start in this in this stitch. I hope my uh, English is enough understandable for you uh, because I'm Czech. Um, so I hope I hope you understand me well. If you will have any questions, write me here below the video and I will I will help you. So chain one, count always a single crochet. Now make two double crochets into the same stitch, into the first stitch. It's the stitch um, at, the, at the chain. Now skip two and make another series. So skip these two and always make uh, another series uh, between these, um, these uh, hills. <laughs> so when you will turn it like this, you can see well where you should make another series of single crochet and double crochets. So always skip two and make another series. So when you count, it's two stitches um, here and here is the space where you should make another series. So it's very easy uh, 
to see, I think... You can count, so always skip two, or you can, uh, you can see the stage, the right stage where you have to make another series, because uh, there are two hells between the space where you should make another series. So this is the right stitch. Make single crochet and two double crochets. So continue working like this. You can pause the video and then meet me back again at the end of this round. Okay, I am nearly at the end of the second round. So this is last series of single crochet and two double crochets and this round. So one single crochet, one double crochet, and one double crochet. And at the end of each round, you should have two stitches left. So skip these two stitches and make a slip stitch, not in chain but in the stitch, uh, it's stitch of the half, uh, I'm sorry, of the double crochet. And always make chain one and turn. So I'm marking the chain And now we can continue working in the same pattern as in previous round. So you will make always series of single crochet and two double crochets. Uh, you will always skip two and make another series. And always at the end of each round you should have two stitches left. So you have to skip these two stitches and make a slip stitch. Then you will always start another round with, um, with chain, <laughs> chain one and always start first, very first series in very first stitch. So it's the stitch at the chain. And that's all pattern. I hope it's enough understandable. If you will have any questions, Write me, please write me here below the video. Okay, so continue working like this and make as many rounds as you need to have the height of your beanie. Uh, but always make one less centimeter or two less centimeters. I'm going to make one less centimeter because I will make just one round of decrease. But you can make two round or two rounds of decrease. It depends up to you. I will show you uh, I will show you how to do that in the next step. So now Continue working like this, make as many rounds as you need to have the height of your beanie. And remember, it should be one or two less centimeters. Okay, I just would like to tell you how I join new end of yarn. I don't finish a uh, single crochet with old uh, end of yarn, but I will finish the single crochet with new end of yarn and then you can continue working. So you can follow me if you want. Maybe you have 
you have better way how to join a uh, new end of yarn, it's up to you. So continue working, pause the video and then you can meet me back again and I will show you, I will tell you what's next. Okay, uh, this is how it looks like, but uh, on this gray beanie, I have higher the hem of beanie. So I think it's better when you will make eight or nine chains on the beginning. This is um, 11 chains and it's 19 centimeters. So now we can decrease so make chain two and now i'm going to make two double crochets together so we are going to decrease by decrease yarn over insert your hook into the this stitch grab the yarn pull it through you have three loops on your hook grab the yarn pull it through two loops grab the yarn insert your hook into the next following Stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through. Now you have four loops on your hook. Grab the yarn, pull it through two. And grab the yarn, pull it through all three loops. So I, I made two double crochets together. So repeat it again. So decrease by decrease and decrease till the end of this round. So make two double crochets together in every stitch all the way around. Okay, I am at the end of the round. You can see I have one stitch left, so I'm going to make just one double crochet in this stitch. Then you have to join the round with a slip stitch, but not in chain, not in this chain. You should insert your hook into the stitch, into the, this first stitch and make a slip stitch. If you want, it depends up to you. If you want to decrease one more round, you can. So you will uh, do exactly the same like in this round. But it's enough for me. I will have just one round of decrease. And now let's do the, the easiest part of this pattern. We will just... Um, you will just take a yarn needle, you can cut the yarn, leave the tail longer because you will need it. And we will sew, um, we will sew uh, the beanie uh, all the way around with simple stitches. Because we need to tighten uh, this upper part of beanie so make stitch by stitch go out and in and you can see i'm using just one loop the front loop go out and in all the way around like this
Okay, now you have to tighten it and then make a few stitches around. So you should go to the wrong side and make a few stitches around because you need to close the hole. And that's all from me. That's all pattern. So I hope you like it. I hope it's easy to follow and I hope it's enough understandable uh, from me. Okay, that's all. I'm going to make a simple knot and then you can cut the yarn and that's really all from me. And you have to uh, sew uh, also all tails inside the head and if you want you can sew uh, some pom-pom. Uh, I will do it because I think it's nicer with pom-pom. Okay, then you will just sew all tails inside the beanie and you have done your beanie. I hope you like it. You can also follow me on my Instagram profile at Thomas Sheep. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and see you soon.